Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download Fortnite on Android when device is not supported. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you actually fix this issue on your mobile device? Well, the first thing you need to do here is you need to make sure that uh, Fortnite is not available on your mobile device. So typically when you go to Epic Games here and visit Fortnite, you should be able to see the button here that says unavailable or available or the button itself is actually grayed out. Now in this case, if it is actually available, you should see the install button there. So whenever you click on it, you should be able to see the installation proceed. Now how do you fix the problem where in this case the button is not enabled? Well, in this case, the well, first thing that we need to do here is we want to make sure that we have the latest version of our uh, mobile device. In this case, you need to go to uh, your settings here, and from here, you need to go to the about, about Phone or System App Updater here, and make sure that you are using the latest version of your mobile device. So the installation process can be different depending on your phone. Well, in this case, if you see any update, make sure to update that and see if that solves your issue. Now in this case, if this does solve your issue, then we need to install another APK. So instead of installing it directly from Epic Games, we need to install it from a different source. Now to do that, we need to open up any browser here and you need to search for the following, which is going to be GSM Fix Fortnite. Now in this case, open up the first link that you'll see there, which is APK Fix here. Now once you've done that, you should be able to see the next uh, section here, which in this case, you should be able to see the download links available on the website itself. Now from here, choose the option that says Fortnite V28 and click on the download button there. Now once you've done that, you just need to make sure that you start downloading. Now in this case, go ahead and click on the download button there and the download should now start and just click on download anyway. Now once the download is complete, we need to open up the APK itself. So you could go ahead and click on details here to view the uh, download process and from here, we just need to wait for it. So in this case, let's go ahead and wait for the download to complete. Now once the download is complete, you can go ahead and click on the APK that we just downloaded and that should open it up. So it's going to start staging the app. Now in this case, it's going to ask you if you really want to install. So in this case, go ahead and click on install to start the installation process. Now in this case, let's just wait for it to uh, basically proceed. Now, once the inst installation is complete, you should be able to see this logo here pop up on your mobile device. Now, in this case, it's going to install or download some files on your mobile device. So in this case, make sure to proceed with the download. In this case, make sure that you have at least the following amount or size in your mobile device, which is 12.05 GB. And in this case, just wait for it to update or install in your mobile device. Now, once the installation is complete, you should be able to see the next page, which in this case, you'll have the option to find your account or create a new account here. In this case, just proceed on logging into your account or creating a new account here. And from here on, you can go ahead and start using Fortnite. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.